morning, everyone. We are Trini Spice FM Island Brunch. This morning, we have our very first guest, Mr. Robbie Styles Prasad. Yeah. Uh, so welcome. You are christening our show, Robbie. We are so grateful. We're happy to have you on. Um, and you're a very busy guy. You're a very difficult guy to get in touch with. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm Alicia Guyadine. My brother is Regan, DJ PRS1. And uh, I'm, I'm coming to you from sunny, sunshine, Florida. Regan is coming to you from... Moist, Baltimore. Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> Where sometimes it's cold, sometimes, and we've got Robbie in Trinidad. And Beautiful Trinidad. <laughs> so, Robbie, how are you doing? Doing very, very well. It's a nice, relaxing Saturday morning. Um, good, and good, as, good. as I was telling you all just before we, uh, before we began the stream, um, the Met Office was predicting some some stormy and, uh, and wet weather for us this morning. Um, having the country going up, <clears throat> being a little bit of precautions. But I went outside this morning and it is sunny and it is really nice. Just a little overcast, but I, I really you know what they say about that, Robbie. You know what they say about that? That I, I have an older lady that works with me and she always says it. She says she loves when 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 the Met Office and them um, <laughs> predict their stuff. And, and then it turns out wrong because she, she says, she said, that's the man upstairs telling you, I'm still in charge. <laughs> exactly. Because yesterday was rain all day. <laughs> right. Wow. Look at that. I know. So, yeah, I, I, I guess it blew up here to Baltimore. So now we got some rain. <laughs> right. Well, we have sunny skies in Florida. You guys welcome to come. Mm -hmm. Well, once we open the borders, I will come. Yes. You can sit on outside and lime. Yes. So those of you that don't know, Robbie Styles is that energy man in Hess the band. And my question to Robbie is, first of all, uh -huh. who is the Robbie Styles? Yes. And and we know it's Robbie Styles Prasad. And so mm -hmm. what I want to know, and I think what our fans would want to know, is where did the styles come from? Right. Yes. And so. who is Robbie? Just Robbie. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. When sure, I Saturday sure. morning, where who is Robbie? <laughs> yeah. So, um, well, I'm a Trinidadian, born and bred in Trinidad and Tobago. Actually, I'm actually born around the Savannah. So oh, wow. right by Port of Spain General Hospital, right where all the bands line up to go on stage there, just, just at the edge of Charlotte Street there, is I was born right there, Man. in the midst of the melee and the bacchanal that is kind right. of... Right. Yeah, born right? in the Savannah so, grass. Yeah, my, my <laughs> navel string is buried right there. <laughs> you know, so I'm a, I'm, I, I would say I'm a true Trinidadian. Um, no, I'll just skip forward because there could be a million stories and we could talk whole morning. But yeah. let, let's get to the question, where does the styles come from? So in high school, I attended Fatima College and started DJing there. Um, started DJing while I was in school. Me and my good friend, Andre, um, we actually used to wash cars during the week. And after school, during the weekend, on the weekend, wash cars to get a little bit of cash and then go and buy some records and then we would spin in the little house parties and the limes and thing. You know, when when when, um, when the school had the me fair and the bazaar, we take a little spin there, you know, a little graduation, that kind of thing. So I really had that little passion for, for playing music, you know, very early and I always, always loved to dance. So when, um, and part of the reason was um, as a young man or a teenager, I wasn't really so socially well skilled now so when you go to lime i wouldn't really be talking too much you know but i will more move and dance you know so when I, when i go on the dance floor there's real wildness you know people <laughs> gathering wrong and they have a little dance off and competition and thing you know right, so, right right yeah so so a lot of that energy you know just comes from um just just harnessing who i am in terms of um enjoyment of music and robbie and just being Robbie, exactly, yeah. you know. So anyway, so so from high school and then going into university, I attended um, University of the West Indies in St. Augustine. 
and just playing in the little campus bar. Um, the bar was called uh, Infinity. So all all you alumni know have very fond memories of Infinity. Infinity. Just very very dark. I remember <laughs> that place. Yeah. <laughs> so how the name came about was while playing music in Infinity. Right. Um, I didn't have the name Robbie Styles yet, but people used to call me B. And whenever I play a big tune, they used to about hey Styles boy B Styles. They play yes, yes. Styles. In fact, yeah, that was the talk back in the day. It was like yo style and rhythm and style. Yeah, I know what I, I know yes. what I mean. I know what I mean. A style and pattern. So style and when, pattern. Yeah. So when trying to come up with a little name, I said, you know. People call me B and it's ball out style. So I was like, hey, you know, Robbie Styles is, <clears throat> that sounds like a real good name to have. Right. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that is where it comes from. Wow. Well, Robbie, you definitely have something in common with your boy uh, Regan, DJ KRS1. <laughs> uh -huh. My name is Styles. Back in the day, <laughs> and he used to get into a lot of trouble with my parents. Right. He used to be break dancing, yes. going in competitions, all this stuff, Don't and get in and get catch break dancing and get crazy mad. trouble, <laughs> cut tail and thing going on yeah, because yes. he going and playing in competition and break dancing and winning. You know, what? you know, it's a good trivia and as you talk is. about it. Yo, you know, it's a good trivia as you talk about that. Games World. All you remember when Games World was out? Yes, that is where my background used to be break dancing and get my ass cut. One day, my, a buddy of mine, let me tell you a quick story. One day, a buddy of mine, we and there with break dancing and stuff like that. And the crowd came around us, man. And, and everybody was like digging our thing. We was doing our thing, man, back then. You know, you know, Games World celebrity, you know. Mm -hmm. My father happened to be in the back of the crowd. I come home from school. Uh, so you come home from school? Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> so where you no. was? How how you come home so late? The bus run late, man. The bus run late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so it wasn't in games old break dancing. Oh my lord. <laughs> wow, wow. No way. And it was such a great experience, but then I get my ass cut on top of it. So I say, you know what? <laughs> Face the music, it was good though. <laughs> I know that's a lovely story to tell the grandchildren. I know, right? <laughs> right now they're actually on. In, in fact, let me touch base with a couple of folks that's on there on Facebook watching right now. Miss Suzanne Ram dancing, nice to see you on here. Um, my daughter Leah, she's on there watching Christian, my son. Uh, my neighbor Greg, Greg, good morning. I see you, yeah. Morning, neighbor. Greg still in Trinidad. Um, you know, a couple more people on there, yeah. Well, well, we'll wait till they comment. We'll wait till they comment. Drop the comments. Let us know that you're watching. If, you, if everybody wants, you know, drop your flag, where you're from, all that stuff, you know. <laughs> and we'll so, we Robbie, get with if you're now joining us. What we want to know is, so now we know a little bit of background. Right. Mm -hmm. And what 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 your fans see and what Kesty Band fans see is this energy, this ball of energy in that background, you serve as such an important support yes. for that band. And really, you're such a pillar in there because I've been to concerts and I've watched you on stage. I've watched you on you know, TV. I've, I've, I've seen that Robbie Styles. And so what we want to know is who is the guy now? Who is this guy sitting down on a Saturday morning um, you know, people want to know. You're married. You have a family. You have kids. Right. You know, what 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 you're doing? What? Who is this guy right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you are not that guy with the red beret, yes. <laughs> as the guitar, sing sing said, singing in the back with the guitar. Yes. Oh, don't so forget! Actually, don't forget the just bus video with the with the the, the, the chimes. <laughs> Oh shit! Wow, <laughs> I loved it. I, I loved it. I remember watching that. and I was like, "Yo, look at Robbie in the back. Robbie well enjoying these chimes, boy." <laughs> As if anybody could play the hell out some chimes with Robbie, boy. But that was yeah, such boy. a vibe. That was a cool vibe. It sure was. Nice. Yeah. 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 So, so yeah. So it's it's something to answer your question, Alisa. That's something my girlfriend also says. We've been together since 2014, mm -hmm. and she says. You know, when people see this one thing on stage, but inside the house, you're totally different, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but 
I suppose it's a similar story with uh, with many performers because I do yeah. remember once one time people were interviewed interviewing um, Denise Sosiwal Belfon. Right, and right. You know how she is on stage, and I remember her response only. You know, off stage I real shy. You know, you know. Mm. And I I have met her off stage, and it is true. You know, but for me it is it's a similar thing where I am actually really very very quiet, and only when I'm in like kind of like in my element that um that you see that you see that. That show person Robbie and the energy come out of right. the stage, you know. But I say where the energy comes from is really, I mean, I mean, one is I really do love the music and I love dancing and I love that enjoyment. So that so that just comes through comes through naturally. Now where I kind of developed it or when I kind of recognized what it was was in university I started playing parang music. Right with the band Los Paranderos de Yui, yeah, and we were, no, we were going to get to that, but, but I'm glad you jumped on it. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead. So, as as <clears throat> as most people will know, Parang music is folk music. It's very informal. It's house to house. It's it's play music for your family, for your neighbors, for your friends. So, so there is no in, um, in terms of uh, musicianship, in, uh, no trained professionality around it. It's just folk music. It's people enjoying. And when I started playing parang music, um, there would be something called the National Parang Festival every Saturday night. We would go to a different venue in Trinidad, Arima, Valencia, Sandy Grandi, Tabakit, Palo right. Seco, Saint Joseph. And they would have about 10 or 15 bands from all over Trinidad of all different skill levels and sizes and experience. And you would hear some very professional sounding musicians and some people who sound like, well, they just pick up the quattro and start to go, you know, and, you know, this song in wild, you know. But what I noticed was that in the spirit of folk music and the spirit of parang music, it really never mattered how good you could sing or how, what your skill level was with your instruments. It right. was really about the spirit of the music, the mm -hmm. spirit of the performance. And in Parang music, there's a lot of storytelling. I mean, although it's sung in Spanish, um, the, the singers are telling stories mainly about the story of Christmas and the traditions within Trinidad and Tobago. But that spirit and enjoyment of music was always paramount. And I remember taking a note of that very early when I first started playing parang music. And I was like, wow, you know, it really actually, in a sense, don't really matter what you play, but it's how you play it, you know? Right. And so I, I took that as a learning as a very conscious learning early in my um, career as a performing musician that right. um, even if it's song and bad, <laughs> you had to look like you enjoyed yourself. Like you enjoy <laughs> yourself. <laughs> right. 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 Yes. You know? Like, so, if you, go, you, you go off key or you go off note, I do it on purpose. <laughs> correct. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm meant to do that. <laughs> you know? So, so, so that is definitely, definitely part of it. And then, um, I always like to prepare very well for a performance, be it Parang, be it a DJ thing, or be it a gig with Kess, or some of right, the other bands right. I've been in, I'll tell you about that in a little while. Right, but, right. Um, oh yeah, definitely, we've won them. <laughs> yeah, I find that when when I prepare myself well, I can relax a lot more on stage, and then you, somehow in the relaxation, the spirit of the thing, I think it flowers and blossoms even more. Right, right, right. What, right. What, would you, what would you say, based on what you just said, what would you say would be one of your most memorable, I uh, wouldn't say screw-ups, but um, <laughs> when things didn't go well at all, but the fans oh. didn't know, the, or, 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 or the audience didn't know anything about it. Yeah, and only well. you knew. Because yeah. um, being a DJ myself, I have had so many things that happened to me where I had to ad-lib. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some stuff, and nobody knew. And I was like, I was so upset with myself when I went home. It was like, yo, it didn't work the way I wanted it to work. The system crashed on me, and yeah. nobody knew. And and it was like, yo, you, you did such an awesome job. Blah 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 blah. You were great, you know. And and but to me, I wasn't satisfied because I was like, I know I messed up, you know. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. from your side of it, you know, it, it, I mean, the <laughs> What were some so, of your experiences? There's so many to tell, but let me give you some that people didn't did know that there was a mess up. So right. there was this one time um, playing a parang show at a at a church in Tunapuna in Trinidad. And right. it is really like a church talent show, you know. Right. So they would have um 
people from the church who could play band and could do a little skit. And... It was it was right. kind of like a, a talent show like that. So they asked the parang band to come because our band is based in St. Augustine. So we're part of the right. community up there in St. Augustine, too. Now. So they asked us to come and play. So we come and we set up, we, but now the band is big, eh? we have about 15 to 20 members on any, on any given night. This is a long time ago. And um, of course, like most little small church um, events, there's no real sound system, you know, they have like two or three mics for 15 people, you know. Um, right. And we're coming on stage and they're trying to set us up and, you know, make sure everything is ready. And then lo and behold, current goes. Whoosh, <laughs> Actually, wait, hold on. I messed up the story. We were setting up, and people right. people would were, were getting a little thing. Well, let's start to play, you know. Start to play, you know. Yeah, get a little antsy. So I got on the mic, and I was saying, okay, you all, you know, we're just setting up, doing a little sound check. We want to make sure everything sounds good before we start. And then right. I was giving a little history about our band. Now, our band is a pure acoustic band where we don't use any plugins or electronics, you know. So I was telling the crowd, so even if Current was to go now, we could still play. And then Current went. <laughs> Almost as if it was planned. Right. And so it was, it was a huge, I mean, it was a huge joke. People laugh and thing. And then when he laughed, it died home. <laughs> People started a ball. Well, all right, we'll start a play. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then oh, yeah, we... Yeah. we we, we started playing and within 30 seconds the electricity came back. My God, right, right, right. That, that, yeah, that, that was good though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was good. That was good. But um, the, the, and then, then one of the other bands I played with before, Kessie Band, uh, I'm sure you've heard of Tree Canal, the Rap Soul. Yes, yes, Tree Canal. Yes, so Rap Soul. I, I gigged with Tree Canal for about two or three years. And really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, um, wow, I didn't we know doing, that. Yeah, I had no clue. Yeah, yeah. So we did a we did a production um, in Queens Hall, um, right. the Tree Canal show. Every year they put on their carnival show. Um, and that particular year it was uh, I think that was 2005, 2006, the Tree Canal Bacchanal show. Right. And um, I was I was my role in the band. I was playing samples as I do with Kesty Band. Yeah. And I also had my quattro as well. Now in those days I didn't have a laptop. Mm. I actually used to put an iMac on stage. Right, 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 right. We were about all oh, right. So, in while the show is going on, you know, the stage is kind of a little bit, you know, wobbly, and the screen. Well, so normally the screen will be facing up, and I could see very clearly. And right. in all of the melee, it kind of did like that, so I couldn't <laughs> see very well. Right. So, so at the end of a particular song, I, I went to adjust the screen, and my hand in the back accidentally pressed the power button. <laughs> at the back of the machine and it just immediately no I didn't know what happened it, the screen just went off right and we are oh, ready to breaking. play the next we're ready to play the next song and I'm only seeing a blank screen oh my god <laughs> oh lord Robbie Brady and, and, re- and the rest of the band is there you know they kind of just waiting you know right so I press the button again and then you just hear that startup noise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know back then it's like it's like a chilling in. And the yeah. whole thing has a warm up. No. Like, and oh, yes, you had to reboot yes. it and you enjoy the long reboot session. <laughs> that, that's right. The computers weren't as fast. But thankfully, um, the band, the Cut and Clear crew, that's the name of the band which we can all, uh, also right. has live musicians. So we were able to start the song with the the band playing live and by the time we got to the end of that song when the machine had rebooted and we were ready to go with the rest of the show. Right. But, uh, <laughs> you know, that was, uh, I mean, that was a real, it was kind of heartbreaking and oh gosh, boy, it's so much news. <laughs> okay. And then, so, yeah. so, Three Canal, Kesty Band. Yeah. And um, Mongol Patasa. Wait, that's on Indian? Yes, Mongol, <laughs> Mongol Patasan Pantar, Mongol the sitarist. Wow. Oh you must check God. him up. You, yes, you, you, yeah. you, I mean, your, your diversity is just blowing my mind right now, man. It's just, you know. Yeah. Yes. I've been very lucky to, to be able to play with so many, I mean, different, people who are icons in that well. music. Right, and different genres. That's good. Yes. That's yeah. great, man. You have See, and this is why we have Robbie on the show. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fans would have never known, you know, stuff like this, you know. That's that that's so great, man. Um and so little things that we want to know as well. Because you know when uh, people see again, they see you, they see the performer, they see mm -hmm. all that. You know, on a Saturday morning, you get up, you went on you eat some doubles. Like That's exactly what I did. <laughs> right. You see? You see? That is well, what me, we want to know. Nice well, let me tell you. So, so, going into that, I wanted I wanted to ask a quick question here. Yeah. <laughs> Tolum or salt prune? Salt prune. <laughs> I don't know. Are you checking come for the next one day? Malta yeah, or shandy? I, um, uh, Dude, I like both. I like right. both. Right now, salt right now, shandy. Saltfish or small Karen? We want. We talk about small Karen. Small Karen. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um. And then the other one was um, Pilau or Kalaloo? Pilau. I like both. Okay. <laughs> I would, that yeah. would be a hard choice for me. I like both. So, yeah. so Robbie, <laughs> on a day like, like today where you seem to have a little bit of time at home and things like that, yeah, what is it. life like with the Robbie Styles or just Robbie or whatever they call you at home? Yeah. Um, just being at home. You just do housework. Well, I know you can get doubles. <laughs> you just drink coffee. Oh, or you take a shot at Johnny Walker later. Like, what, right, right. Okay, what, so, what is it a day like with Robbie just chilling? Yeah, absolutely. So, 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 so my household is myself, my girlfriend, and our son. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, he's my stepson. Okay. And with the pandemic and the lockdown, I mean, this is the most time I've ever been home in years, you know? Wow. So from, <clears throat> so because I mean, normally with the bandwidth, we, we're basically traveling nonstop. Right, and I think, like, like for the past, I get what, past year now, you, you've been <laughs> quarantined, yeah. so to speak. Being home. Yeah. yeah. You know? Wow. So on, 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 on a normal day, I mean, because we don't have to get up and go to an 9 to 5, you know, we can mm -hmm. get up kind of easy and take it easy and get ready for the day. Um, my stepson, he has classes on Zoom, online classes, because school right. is, well, school in class is, is closed. Right. So we are actually in class with him. <laughs> right, <laughs> oh, right, right. How old is he, Robbie? He is 12, going on 13, so he just started okay. Form 1. You right. Know? Um, so yeah, so it, it's quite a it's, it's quite a an experience, experience you know reliving being in, in school again you yeah, know because yeah, you're, yeah. you're hearing the teachers teaching and you're trying to tell uh, but his name is Zach this is Zach you have to pay attention yes. <laughs> you know um, children tend to be very distracted you know so it's really a lot of it is trying to guide and help him focus more and then when school is done you know uh, between doing a little exercise and fun um doing your homework well right you know so but on uh but he's up by his grandparents today and uh, so this morning um i got up and reagan said well our little program this morning is very informal so i said hey what best i go and buy some doubles and i was going to keep it and eat it you know sh and show you all the doubles <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> that would be so that. wrong robbie <laughs> but, 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 yes and that was the next thought i said you know people who do have access to doubles now will get x <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> you know so we made sure and we had our doubles before the show began and then mm. when i do have a nice cup of um you were asking about coffee or tea this is tea i'm a tea drinker yeah, tea all right drinker. right okay. right okay. And, okay and and just to keep the trinidadian theme it is lipton yellow label tea there you yes. go condensed milk yes man condensed milk nice mm -hmm. condensed it's milk condensed milk that is the thing sell yeah well yeah. Robbie, this was so amazing just to let you know i um i teach i am a, a what they call here middle school teacher so which is junior high so i actually teach the age of your stepson right <laughs> yep. so yep. i get it i've been i've been teaching um here middle school pretty much for 13 years Wow. So it's like I've been in that age group for 13 years with these kids. But let me tell you, you know, they it, it's nothing better than watching them grow and really just it, it, it's a time in their life where they they're just trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's nice that, you know, he 
he has you and his mom there to really kind of help him navigate through that at home now too. Absolutely. So that's great. And this was awesome. Uh, Regan, do you have yeah. anything? Because I know we're kind of like running on our time. Yeah, we can, yeah we're trying to, we, we, we're going to cut it short in a minute because we don't want to keep Robbie away from the, the second doubles or the third doubles. I know. <laughs> so, quick thing, okay, Robbie. So um, and if we come to Trinidad, if you yeah. guys, if you're still there, if you're if you're not touring or something like that, mm -hmm. we yeah, need link to link up, up and we need to try your doubles because I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I, where where you get your double? Well, let me give let me give you the story, right? So, ay, ay, ay. um, we are so lucky. We actually only just we, we used to live in Saint Augustine, and we only just moved down um, to Pitti Valley. Now, okay. Trinidadians know that the west or the northwest doesn't really have great doubles, Double, right? right. If you really want good of us, don't want East, Central, and South. But people right. from Central and South would say anything from the North, not good. But anyhow, <laughs> that's, an, that's another <laughs> conversation. A whole other conversation. But, yeah, so anyway, it just so happens that where where we live now in Pitti Valley, when I walk out the front door and I get onto the main road next door to the warehouse, has what we think is the best of us in the West. Right. And it's, it's called West Coast Doubles. Oh, okay. Boy. I got right? that out, boy. No, no but, here the, the, but here the real joke. Uh -huh. I go on out and I walk down the road <laughs> for my West Coast doubles, and West Coast is not there. <laughs> oh, <my> really? <laughs> yeah, boy. What? I guess quarantine shut them down, maybe? <laughs> no, they, they know they, they, they are there every week from Thursday to Sunday. We know West Coast is there. Up there? What? Okay. You know? So I go on down my West Coast, and West Coast is not there. I say, uh, what I'm gonna do? Right. But fortunately, you if know you I can't walk, come home without doubles. I know that. If you leave for doubles, you have to come home with doubles. Yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> that's an thing. The tricky thing is, I I like we're so lucky that the man is nearby. I could walk, right? Right, right, right. But I say I can't go home without the doubles. No, I didn't drive. Driving. <laughs> I say well. At least I know if I walk uh, 10 minutes more, <laughs> they have yeah, two, more two more doubles Two more doubles vendors, right. <laughs> so I took an extended walk this morning. And uh, um, they actually, they, yeah, they two more two more vendors down the road. Now there's one guy we buy from all the time, but my girlfriend, she doesn't really like that one so much. But there's another one we never tried before. So I bought from this lady for the first time this morning and it was right. quite good. Real, you know, when you like okay. a okay. nice sauce barrel, mm -hmm. that's a real nice sauce barrel. What there. is it? The cucumber <laughs> sauce and stuff in there. I, I, I put partial to the cucumber sauce in <laughs> Yeah, That'll everything. Really, when really we good. land in Trinidad, that is the first, first stop. thing. First stop. Absolutely. I think doubles could be on my menu uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Fully understood. Whole time. Whole time. That was that. Oh my gosh! Now I'm feeling to eat some doubles. Right. <laughs> so, 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 Robbie, what's what what what's in, on the agenda for the, for the next you know next couple of months? What y'all? I mean, anything you're working on? Any projects? You well, have yes. Working? Well, um, so we're in 2021. Right. The National Parang Association of Trinidad and Tobago is celebrating 50 years. And yeah, that's so, all I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the the, um, the association is putting on a, a nice anniversary show mm -hmm. and they have formed the first ever um, National Parang Orchestra of Trinidad and Tobago. So it's a it's a group of maybe about 30 musicians um, playing right. traditional folk parang instruments as well as classical instruments. So there's a okay, brass and string section and so on. So we are preparing for our first performance on the 19th of April. So right now, um, I'm, I'm heavy in rehearsal with the right. orchestra. Um, and it is, is really a, a, a very a very joyful exercise where, um, as, I, as I was saying before, our music is very informal, very full. Mm -hmm. But now we're bringing the discipline of following a music sheet and right. following a, spe a specific arrangement and I mean, and they're, they're actually you know, some trained classical musicians in the orchestra okay. as well. So, and, and then hearing a trumpet, hearing a trombone, hearing violins and, right. and violas, 
inside of Parang music is, is, is I mean, I mean, if, if you're on a, a lover of, of, of music and the sound of music, it right. is really a wonderful thing to hear because you get you get the rawness of, of folk music. This can be a little bit wild with the refinement of classical music and classical sound. So it's, it's really a wonderful meshing of, 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 of musical flavor. You right. know, it's right. a, it's a right. real right. music pillow. So where would would that be something that is going to be um, live on YouTube or yeah, go uh, or something accessible uh, to the internet? Yeah. yeah, I actually yeah. have to find out what the what the um, what the links would be. But right. if you want to get more information I, on the, it would be the National Parang Association of Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. Sometimes right. it's shortened to NPAT. Yep. N P A T T. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll find it on Facebook and there'll probably be links links there um, to, to whatever <clears throat> performances there are and celebrations for the 50th anniversary. And as well as um, the Parang Band that I'm in, Los Paranderos de Yui, mm -hmm. uh, you will find a lot of information on our band there. And our band, we celebrated 40 years last year. So in 2020, our band was 40 years old. And so right. we actually, because we couldn't perform anywhere really for Christmas, um, we did a lot of online stuff. So there's lots right. of there's lots of interviews, lots of information about Parang, mm -hmm. um, some of the songs that we sing, um, and, and just general storytelling. Um, 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 what was it? Um, the, the 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 last one, Kess and I have, not We Home, the one after We Home. And and it was like three of you guys actually performed Parang and that was that was really nice. Oh yeah, the Christmas show. The yeah, Christmas yeah. show, that's what it was. The Christmas yeah. show outside the pink house. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You guys did perform Parang. It was so that was such a nice show to see when yes. you guys came on and performed. It's like this is a side of Robbie Styles nobody usually seen. That's everybody, true. Everybody, all the younger generation is going, yo, I catch these, I catch these. That is all they're saying. Yeah. They don't that's know the true. Depth, you know? So it's that was true. so that was so unique, and, and and you know the fact that his daughter sang, you know, yeah. then and 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 you had his mom. Oh, that yeah. was just, it was such a nice concert. It was so good, you know. And from watching from international, it was just so. Oh my God, we so wanted to be home. You know what yeah. I mean? One of those, and yeah. So and you guys brought us home. You guys did bring us home in that Rich. what one hour, two hour. It was just yes, we was home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, me and Kesu actually, while we were preparing for that show, we, we were chatting about it and saying, you oh, this is going to be important for a lot of people around the world. They're really going to feel, because we felt it while preparing. Um, mm -hmm. We get a real feel for home and a real feel for home at Christmas time too. Right. You know? So really, I'm yeah, glad that... I'm I glad that the on the online talk, on, on, on the thing talking about, yes, that set was awesome. Um... They're even saying, well, good morning, Robbie. That's from um, my wife. My wife actually only watched it. Um, nice, she said, yeah, good morning, Robbie. Um, and I have somebody asking, where the quattro? <laughs> yeah, the quattro right there. No, I have it there. Everybody oh. wants to know where the quattro. <laughs> that's the way that we can we definitely wrap it up with that. Yes, okay. definitely. And and Robbie was not, you know, while you're wrapping up, it was so nice having you. It was an honor to have you on the show. You know, yes. we, we, we hope hopefully we can do this again because we don't want to yeah. keep it too long. Definitely. I know you have plenty of stories you want to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank yeah, you man. so much for taking the time. We know that you're busy now and, and, and we're going to look forward to that performance coming up in a couple weeks. Excellent. So best of luck with that. And yes, let us, DJ PRS1 and Alicia, we want to end this with Robbie blessing yeah, us with good. the music. Absolutely. Yes. Well, thank you very much to you all, Regan and Alicia, and a special hello to everyone who's listening and watching. And I'm going to sing for you one of my favorite songs called Mi Paranda. Hey. It's actually, I think it's, but well, it may not be, have been the first one, but it's just one of the, my early songs that I wrote and composed. So, right. Mi Paranda. Esta mi paranda, esta es mi canción, nota de patria, nota de tradición. Esta mi paranda, esta es mi canción, nota de patria, nota de tradición. Levanta amigo, levanta y baila. Cantemos al coro, canta y celebra. Levanta amigo, levanta y baila. 
cantemos al coro, canta y celebrar. Esta mi parada, esta es mi canción. No seré patria, no seré tradición. Esta mi parada, esta es mi canción. Nota de patria, nota de tradición. Ay, ay, ay. I, I want a glass of sorrow right now. I, I want a glass of sorrow. <laughs> Oh my lord, it's something about para music that just takes you to Christmas, especially as a Trinidadian. It Absolutely. takes you to Christmas. You cannot have Christmas, no other part of the world without para music. I swear. In truth. <laughs> oh my god. Robbie. That's wonderful, wonderful. Again, Robbie. thank you, thank god you for gracing us on our pilot show. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yeah. I hope it grows and there's much more to come from everyone. Right, and I ho hopefully uh, it, it's a home for you, for you, uh, Robbie, and home for Kesteban. You guys are welcome on the show at any point. You know, I'll drop you guys the link, you know, and, and just jump on board. Um, so with all that, you know, this is Alicia, Dr. Gayadine, um, you know, I'm Reagan, DJ PRS1, Robbie Styles. Uh, from Kestaban and Los Paranderos de Yui. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Thank you on, for viewing us on a Saturday morning, folks. Love having you all here. And with that, we're ending it off. <laughs> okay. Thanks again, folks. All right. Thank you. Peace.